We made it to the water. Let's get rigged up. We're going to be reviewing a, uh, we're going to be doing something a little different today. We're just going to be reviewing a uh, allure today. Uh, today is the Westie double hook worms. I don't know if you guys have ever seen them. There's double hooks in this worm. You can tell there's one hook here and there's a hook down at the bottom. Um, it's got like a little jig head in the top, so it's weighted down when it goes into the water. So it'll go right down to the water, to the bottom. And uh, they're supposed to be really good. And I wanted to get out here and review them. Um, if that doesn't work, I just got a little jig tied on so we can throw that around. So let's see what we can get on this. Let's see what we can do. Let's get some fishing. There we go guys. There we go. First fish. Ah, oh, dropped it. Ooh, picked it up. Picked it back up. All right. All right, that was quick. Look at that. He swallowed that too. This. Unbelievable. Look at that. First cast, guys. He wanted that. He wanted that worm. That was awesome. That was so cool. Now that was awesome. First cast. Let's see what we can get again. That's good. Look at the car. There's the car. There's tons of them in this pond. Tons of them. Got one. Got one, guys. Oh boy. Oh, uh, did he let it go? Or is he out? I think he's out. Ah, uh, he got off? No, he's here. Just pulling him through this crap here. Come on. Don't jump, don't jump. Oh. Come here. Got him. We got him. We got him, guys. Oh, yeah. How are you hooked here? Let's see. Oh, I see. Okay.
Got him. Got him. Look at that. Got him right in the corner of the mouth. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Loving that Westies worm. I tell you, that double hook really helps a lot in the hookup ratio. Oh, oh, got a good one, guys. We got a good one. Come here. Come here. Don't jump. Don't jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at this healthy fish. Look at, he is nice. He swallowed it. He is a nice color. He's a lot lighter than the other ones. Let's get this out. Look how light he is. He's not dark at all. It means he's out in the sun a lot more. He's not deep into the vegetation yet. But, uh, so he's out in the sun, but look at this. Look at this healthy, healthy chunk of meat. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. I love this. I love seeing that. Awesome. This worm, this worm's doing great. Oh, we got one. Oh, look at that. We got a bluegill. <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, I didn't see anything. So bluegill. Look at that. Look at the colors on them. It's so pretty. That's awesome. I, I love just, I love catching different species. It's so cool. Even the little guys like the Westies worms. Okay, let's talk about the Westies worms. The Westy Worms. You saw we fished with it today. Now let's just get one thing straight. I'm not affiliated with Westy. I'm not uh, sponsored by them. I'm not getting paid to do this. Um, I recognize a good product. And when I recognize a good product, I want to share it with everybody. And everybody entails you guys. So with that being said, uh, we went out today. I wanted to view this for the, long time, for the longest time. Went out today. And as you guys can tell, we caught some fish. Now, the pros and cons. The pros of this is it's double hooked. It's double hooked. Give you guys a good view. So you got two hooks here. There's a jig head in the top, so it's weighted to go like this. So basically it's gonna sit like this in the water and sway. And as you're hopping along, it actually looks like a bait fish feeding off the bottom. Okay. Now your pros are double hooked, so it's gonna increase your hookup ratio. A lot, um, I would say. I was catching them uh, more. Now, if you were going to use, like, compared to a regular drop shot worm, to a robo worm, to um, a uh, split shot or whatever, they don't have, obviously, they don't have the double hook in them. So, the double hook, what happens is on your regular worms that you're drop shotting or using robo worms, whatever, the fish are going to bite the end of that worm 
and they're going to miss that hook a lot of times. So you're going to get a lot of bites. Your hookup ratio is not going to be that good. With the Westy double hookworm, you increase your chances because, of course, you have um, two hooks now. Kind of now texture to it. Uh, I love you can cast it a mile. It's weighted perfectly enough so when you cast it out, it's not just going to dead sink or going to come back at you. You can cast it a mile. That's awesome. I love that. That's like a top thing. your ratio your hookup ratio with that being said though it's also going to catch a lot of other crap meaning the bottom trees rocks branches whatever's in the bottom you're going to snag it uh, as you can tell i got hooked a lot of a lot of stuff and i lost one worm i don't know what happened if i got hooked or a fish took it so we lost one but um so yeah so you're going to get hooked up a lot with the double hook it's, it's just going to happen um I don't see anything really that bad with this. I mean, this is a really good one. They, they made it really good. The texture's good. Um, the only other con I see with it is this. It gets messed up. You see mine's all kind of like funky looking when the fish, you know, attack it and uh, roll around with it or, or go to grab it. Um, the hook kind of goes on the other side of the worm and it wraps around the hook itself. So it gets kind of messed up like this, which is not bad because you know, you fix it a little bit, you pop it in the water, it actually gives it more lifelike ability. Um, and it might displace a little bit more water because of the angle of the worm itself. And it might just actually look a lot more lifelike with the bend to it. So, you know, it, it couldn't hurt. So, um, I mean, that, that's about it. Uh, it. Like I said, is this thing going to make you a miracle fisherman overnight? And you're going to catch tons of fish? No. But just like any other bait or lure in your tackle box, in your arsenal, it's going to make you a better fisherman and it's going to help you catch fish just like anything else in your box and um i think westy did a really good thing i i really had a lot of fun today um out there fishing with you guys and um i think it's a good worm and will i use this in the future yes will it be in my um number one uh lure bait to go to no but it will be in my tackle box you can bet that i'm going to add this to my arsenal so westy worm really hot out check here Malka. i am sweating uh, the rain the night before made the grass all wet, so my feet are soaked, so it's kind of like uh, I got a little bit of both going. I got wet feet, and uh, I'm soaked to the bone here with sweat. So I'm going to get out of here. As always, guys, keep on fishing. Have fun. Take somebody fishing. I mean, you never really understand the experience or the thrill that you'll get and the feeling you get from watching somebody else catch their first fish or watching somebody else catch a fish. I mean, take your wife, take your husband, take a family member, take a child, take a neighbor, take a neighbor's kid. Go fishing. It's great therapy. It's the cheapest, the best so, therapy you're ever gonna get. Have a lot of fun. Go out there, try the Westy worm. It's really great. Um, catch you guys later.